So it's Friday, I've been to Germany for the week uh, on business, I come home, I've got my cup of tea in my Gundam Wing mug, which I'm enjoying, how terribly British of me. Picked it up in uh, Akihabara, in the, the, the Gundam cafe there in Tokyo, which was the only manga cafe I was willing to go into when I went to uh, Tokyo because they all looked a bit seedy, if I'm being honest. But anyway, so I get home from travelling to find this big black box waiting for me and I couldn't be happier, you know why? Because this month, this month is the speed month from Loot Crate. Uh, so this is the September 2016 box. Uh, I know there's stuff in there that I'm going to like because... There's at least one thing that's Battlestar Galactica related, and I am a very big Battlestar Galactica fan, so I'm quite excited about that. Don't know what it is. Uh, I know there's something Iron Man related in here, and I think there's something Flash or Arrow related. Uh, there was something else gone in 60 seconds. That seems a bit random. That movie is well old. Although I do still own it on DVD. That's right, DVD, not Blu-ray, DVD. Sorry, just taking a sip of my tea. So, let's dive in to the September edition of Loot Crate. As always, let's take a look at the box. The box is looks like it builds a car. It's got little indentations here, so yeah, I'm guessing you can actually make the box into something. I've yet to do that, I've got to be honest. Straight away I can see the t-shirt, great. Looks good. Looks like a Iron Man t-shirt, Stark Industries, but we'll, we'll get that out. Well, actually, do you know what? Screw it. Let's get it out now. I can't wait. So this looks like official Marvel licensing chisel. It's a Stark motor racing t-shirt. You see that there? That is actually pretty cool. Um, I like that. That's sort of, So that's Iron Man 2 related, I'm guessing. Uh, that's cool. It's a Gildan large soft style t-shirt. Okay, cool. I'm just going to fold that up and put that there. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, I didn't. Re I forgot we had something Batman related. So we've got a Batman metal Batwing keychain stealth edition. In the moonlit night of Gotham City, the King Crusader keeps watch from the cockpit of the Batwing. With its menacing silhouette, the Batman stealth aircraft strikes fear in the villains who walk the streets of Gotham City. Take this dark knight iconic plane with you on your next patrol with this meticulously detailed replica from QMX. Okay, so, oh nice. I'm not a big keychain guy, I've got to be honest with you, they're a bit, a bit useless, but that is a... Sweet Batwing. Can you see that? Against the white. Dun, 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 All right, that's enough of that. But yeah, that's pretty nice uh, little keychain. I'm pleased with that. I'm not sure which version of the Batwing it is. Uh, looks slightly like it could be from the Burton era Batman, but I'm not sure. Okay, uh, what else have we got here? Okay, let's get the thing that I'm least looking forward to out of here. The Gone in 60 Seconds thing. This is a Loot Crate exclusive. Eleanor. Okay, so this, if you remember the uh, the film with... Uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, my Lord. Cage. Nicholas Cage, thank you. Okay, Nicholas Cage. Not his real name. I'm sure everyone knows that. It's probably the worst piece of movie memorabilia right now. Yeah, so this was the elusive car in that movie that Nicolas Cage uh, always had problems stealing. It was the last car on the list that he had to do, that he had to get to save his brother, Giovanni Rabizzi. Uh, can we call it? Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, it's a nice toy car. I don't really care about toy cars. I've got some. Some interesting. I've got all the Bond ones, and they're quite cool. This is kind of standard, though, quite basic. I will probably give this to my son, even though some of you will say I should keep this, especially as it's a Loot Crate exclusive, so 
There are a limit, there's obviously a limited run of these, but I mean, Gone in 60 Seconds is an odd choice. I understand because of the theme, I get that, but still. Uh, okay, so mm -hmm. another, another Loot Crate exclusive. This is uh, Hoodies Collectible Auto Ornaments. Oh, okay. So this is supposed to go on your car. I'm guessing that we're not actually meant to put this on our cars. We don't have those things now. Um, this one looks like... It doesn't actually say. Oh, it's a flash one. Okay. Sweet. I should have realised that. Idiot. But I am. So... There we go. It's a silver flash. It does have a sticky pad at the bottom. So I could stick that on the front of my car if I wanted to. It's made out of plastic, so I don't think it would last very long. But, yeah, I've no plans to do that. But I might put it somewhere. I don't know. We'll find something to do with the Hoodies Collectible Hood Ornament. It's not maybe for me that one, but... I'm not going to complain about it either. It's uh, okay. I think we could have done something cooler, but I get it. Speed. What's this? Uh, a Loot Crate official member. I'm now an official member, am I? Uh, okay. I am Looter1064104. Okay, I now have a card. I don't know what that allows me to do. That's interesting. I uh, wasn't expecting that. I don't know if you have to buy a certain number of Loot Crates in order to get that. So the Loot Pens pin this time is the speed one it says loot year on it it's a tire this pin unlocks something epic okay as always you go to this url on the back and you will get something usually an image or wallpaper or access to a piece of software or something um but i know what you're all thinking stop teasing us what's the battlestar galactica thing i still can't see myself i can see that it's something to do with titan Let's have a look. Oh, amazing. So it's a Titan toy. We love Titans. Exclusive Silent Raider. A Scar. Okay, yeah. So there we go. We can see. I don't know if you remember the episode Scar. This is like kind of like the Red Baron of uh, the Cylon Raiders in the Battlestar Galactica reboot. Um, sweet. Okay, so this is the Titan toy range. I've seen these. Um these vinyl figures, you know I'm not a big fan of the vinyl figures if you've watched any of the other videos. Let me just get out my knife so I can cut this open. But I didn't realise they also did ships. Ships is a little bit different. This doesn't necessarily look cutesy, or maybe it is cutesy, I suppose it kind of could be. Yeah. I don't know, it looks pretty badass if you ask me. Okay, this is another Loot Crate exclusive. That's, what's that? One, two, three Loot Crate exclusives in this box. And I do think that's one of the things that Loot Crate do very well, is that they give you Loot Crate exclusives. Okay, so this is a plastic toy. Uh, quite cool. Comes with its own stand. Always like a stand. Everything officially branded. Let's see if I can work out how to make the stand work. I guarantee I'll probably mess it up the first time. Yeah, and I've dropped the toy as I thought I would. Genius. Genius. So I've got the stand. I cannot see how this... Oh, okay. So it goes like that. And there's the toy. So I can't remember. Was Scar the uh, Cylon Raider that... Starbucks sort of jerry rigs and starts flying around. I can't remember. Uh, cool, nonetheless. It's so sweet. Uh, yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. I've got to be honest. Um, all in all, um, I'll wear the t-shirt. That's for sure. Let's have a look at all the, the swag. So there we go. I'll definitely wear that t-shirt. I will definitely display the the Cylon Raider scar. That's cool. Uh, and I will show off at our next Battlestar Galactica game night. Um, I'm not too sure about the, the Flash ornament or the um, Gone in 60 Seconds card. But like I said, I will give the card to, to my son. The Even though I'm not a big fan of keychains, they're a bit of a pain in the ass. That one is a particularly good one. Anything that's Batman related, especially Batwing related, then I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the speed month. And well done. Loot Crate for getting so many exclusives in there. I'll definitely be sticking around for the next month. Not sure what the next theme is. Uh, 
But this one was pretty inventive, I've got to be honest. I'm, I'm pleased with what they've done there. So, yeah, um, catch us next time. I'm still putting this out on the Psychic Cast YouTube channel. Psychic Cast is no more. Uh, news to come about what comes next uh, for the Psychic Cast boys very, very soon. We will be doing something different. Watch this space.